They're being so obnoxious about it again. I think my parents are unfair when it comes to my curfew. They shouldn't be the ones to tell me how late I can stay up till. I asked her, I said, what time are you coming home? Well, I don't know. 1.30? Okay, how about 1 o'clock? Oh. Don't come by 1, you're dead. Tons of drinking out there, and I don't even want to think what else. How do I get my parents to trust me and get rid of my 1 o'clock curfew? She has absolutely no business staying out till 1 o'clock in the morning at 16. All of my friends and most of the people who yeah. I do know do have a later curfew than me. And you know what parents always ask is, what are kids doing till 2 and 3 a.m. in that's, the morning? That's what we ask. Let I me say, tell what you what you they're do? doing. They're running into each other's in cars drunk. That's what they're doing. You ask my opinion. I'm giving it to you straight up. I think you need to hold the line. Hi, Dr. Phil. My parents took your advice and they kept my one o'clock curfew. Since then, I've gone on to complete my undergrad degree in psychology and I went on to be a lawyer. Let's hope I'm not calling you in 16 years when this one is asking for a later curfew. Bye, Dr. Phil. Well. Rachel, you had some strong debate skills at 16. I can only imagine how successful you are at 32. So thank you for that update. Now, Dawson was only four years old when her mother, Cassidra, worried her little girl was becoming a spoiled shopaholic. Who bought you this dress? You. Who bought you your baby suit? You. My older sister, Gina, is a shopaholic and she is turning my four-year-old daughter, Dawson, into a shopaholic as well. You like to go shopping with me? Definitely. Uh -huh. Cedra is jealous because I can buy the things for Dawson that she can't. It's gonna have to stop really soon because she's creating a monster. Are you concerned at all that she is getting spoiled? Nope, because when we finish shopping, I take her home to Cedra. What in the world are you doing allowing her to do that with your child? Well, I don't want to stop her from seeing her because Dawson is already attached to her Auntie Gina. But that's not your problem. And you gloat over being able to do what she can't, do you not? I have the time, I have the money, and then I have Dawson. You see? That's the no, thing. No, I see. Do you see? Yes, I do. <laughs> Dawson is now 18 and says now it's her mother who needs a spoiling intervention. So. You took over for the end. I think I did. I remember you. You said it clearly. You said, why are you allowing her, your sister, to do this to your child? I said, you know, Dr. Phil, you're right. I should be spoiling my child. No, 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 no. That wasn't exactly my point. Oh. So you threw a really lavish graduation party, right? I did and I, you, you gave her a little card with something tucked into it for graduation. What'd you give her? I gave her a check for $20,000. Yeah. But the good news here is despite your worst efforts and your sister's worst efforts, do you have your feet squarely on the ground, right? I do. Um, I think my focus right now is really on um, school and making sure everything's in place. So what do you think about that? I need her to allow me to give her things. She turns down everything I give her. I don't feel like I need designer things. Like school's my focus. I don't think I need shoes that cost a mortgage. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dawson and Cassidra, seriously, thank you guys. You're the light. <laughs> Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.